see that they're giving us two terms. A sub 3 equals 11, that's the value of the third term, and A sub 8 equals 21. So in this video, I'm going to show you an easier method. Before, you might have used this formula over here and written a system of equations, but what I want to show you is that when you're dealing with arithmetic sequences, what you're really dealing with is you're dealing with terms that are going up by a constant uh, amount, a constant difference as they call it. And that difference is actually the slope. So for example, if we were to diagram this out, uh, you could see that you're taking 11 and then you're adding the same quantity each time until you get to the next term, next term, next term, until you get to the eighth term, which is you know 21. But if we were to plot these points out, what you would see is you'd have uh, a sub 3, okay, the third term would be up here at 11, and then a sub 8, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, is going to be up here at uh, 21. And so you can see they're going up at a constant rate, okay, and that's the slope. So we're going to write the equation of a line using the slope and the y-intercept. So that's the technique we're going to be doing. So again, we're just going to coordinatize these points, turn them into coordinates. Okay, so switching forms from the sequence notation to just coordinate notation. And we're going to use our slope formula. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which gives us 21 minus 11 over 8 minus 3, which gives us what? That's 10 over 5, which equals 2. So we know this is going up at a constant rate of 2 each time, okay, to get to the next term. And then what we can do is we can use our slope-intercept form of a line, y equals mx plus b, and we can say, all right, we know we're going up by 2, so that's our slope, that's our m value. And pick one of the points, either this point or this point. I'm going to pick the first one. So when y is 11, x is 3, and we can solve for b. Okay, so that's going to be 11 equals 6 plus b. Subtract 6 from both sides, and you can see that b equals 5. I'm just going to put that back in, so we have y equals 2x plus 5. Now, let's switch back to the sequence notation which is going to look like this, a sub n equals 2 times n plus 5. Okay, so n is what term that you're on, and a sub n is the value of that term. And you can test it out. So if I put 3 in, that's going to be 2 times 3 is 6 plus 5 is 11. If we put 8 in, we get 2 times 8 is 16 plus 5 is 21. And you can see that it checks out. But basically what we're doing is we're using the concept that arithmetic sequences are linear. They're going up you know, at a constant rate, and that constant rate is a slope. So I hope you uh, understand this video a lot better about how to work with arithmetic sequences. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring. And I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.